Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this is a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week ahead. Um, I do apologize. I want to thank you for your patience. Seems like life uh, should be slowing down any time now, but it's not. So I don't know if that's a message for you. It's a message for the collective or whatnot, but things seem just a little crazy. Can't catch up one thing right after another. So it's busy. It's busy, 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 busy. So I do, I do uh, thank you so much for your patience. So what do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next seven days or thereabouts? What does Aquarius need to know? <sighs> Never ends. Never, ever, ever ends. Oh, we got too many. We're gonna we're gonna keep going. They are the, the new whatever they are. Sound barriers are supposed to be here on the third. Hopefully. So what do we have? What do we have for Aquarius? The sun. The sun. Now the sun is a card of happiness, growth, enlightenment, um, good news. You could, you could be receiving some good news this week. Um, this is shining. You may also be shining. You could be glowing. Um, this is basking in the sun, in your glory. Something is happening this week that is definitely going to make you happy. Okay, that's happy news, happiness. Uh, a yes answer. If you have a question, the answer is yes. Um, vibrating at a very high level, being accepted. Your health may be, you may be starting to feel better if you've been sick or being, uh, if you've been unhealthy. You know, there's, there's better health coming with the sun card. Um, we have a new beginning as well. So sun's re the sun card represents a new beginning. It could be a rebirth of some sort. Teapot. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Now, you know, I got this card for somebody else um, recently, and I got a comment. I'm not bi. <laughs> okay. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. That could be your child. That could be your mother. That could be somebody you work with. That could be somebody that you meet spontaneously. It could be a friend that you are developing into, you know, a best friend type of thing. It doesn't mean you're bi, okay? Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. You, you may be, you know, you know, think about tea, you're spilling tea. You're, you're, you're getting to know somebody of the same sex, and that doesn't mean that you're, you know, bi, Okay, so th this is you deepening a bond with somebody, you know, that is on your level. Eagle, triumph over troubles, obstacles. So if you've had some obstacles, things are going to get better. Things are going to get better for you. You may have a friend that is going to help you. Okay, this friend may help you. They may just be able to give you some advice. Whatever it is, it's a very positive energy that is around you. So I think you have some support from somebody. Um, maybe making a new friend or something like that. What do we have for Aquarius? King of Cups reversed. Four of Cups reversed. Six of coins reverse. Now when we have reversals, it means there's something that is lacking or extremes, but this is the four of cups in reverse is actually better than upright. This is seizing a new opportunity. There's been an opportunity that has been ignored or missed. Now it's being taken. It's being seen. Somebody's interested. There's, a, there's emotional discontent here though with the king of cups reversed. There's a lack of emotional fulfillment. Um, somebody's not following their heart in some way, but the sun has a card of heart as well. Um, a lack of emotional growth, and maybe that's where you've been. But with this one being reversed, there is something emotionally fulfilling that is coming. Maybe it's a friend that can help you. Now, this is lack of reciprocation. I'm not sure if you've been uh, rejected 
You know, this could be a rejected from a business proposal or a job offer, or maybe you were engaged with somebody that is emotionally unavailable. This person doesn't communicate well. They don't give you what you need emotionally. But there's a change because that's a very positive energy. It's a new day, a new beginning. I feel like you haven't been receiving or you, and maybe this week, this week, you know, maybe you're going to be choosing to be happy, you know, and focus on something else. Because this is being interested in something else after probably being uh, in a one-sided situation. I feel like there's a one-sided situation here. You're not getting something. Something, you know, you're not, maybe you're not getting respect from somebody. King of Cups reversed is somebody that doesn't have good intentions, that is emotionally unavailable, that isn't giving you what you need. And this could be a male or a female. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I do feel like there is somebody around you that can give you some good advice. And I feel like you need whoever this person is, I feel like you perhaps you need to listen to their advice. I feel like you're dealing with somebody this week that really, I don't know, this is an abuse of generosity, right? They may have, they may abuse your kindness for weakness, you know what I mean? They may be taking advantage of you. You know, I think that you probably, there's somebody around you that, it, that probably, uh, you're probably receiving some clarity about this person because the sun card is clarity as well. Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is about confidence and willpower and determination and strength to focus. I feel like you're going to be focusing your energy on some sort of new enterprise this week and maybe it comes after a rejection or not receiving an offer from somebody and may, it could be a job offer. I'm not sure. You may not have received something. May Somebody may not have uh, given you what, given you what you were owed or given you what you needed but there is I feel like there's a desire to, to move forward and there's a di desire to focus on the future. I see you being very, very strong this week. Uh, really um, going through a period of growth and really focused. I feel like you're really, really focused. It's like, I'm happy. I'm happy. You know, I don't, I don't care if you're happy, but I'm happy. I see you being in control, you know, in control of your emotions. Even though I feel like there's somebody around you that isn't in control of their emotions, I feel like you are. You know, it's, there's two sides to everything, even with the Six of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, you're dealing with somebody that may be discontent with themselves and they may be trying to bring you down, but I don't see you allowing that to happen. I don't see you allowing that, okay? I see you being really, really vibrant this week, okay? Enthusiastic about life, determined to be successful. Probably really focused on your health as well. I feel like this is a week where your health is, is very, very prominent. You know, I'm going to focus on my health. You may have been had some sort of addiction here as well with the King of Cups reversed, but I feel like you're you're finding a way to overcome this addiction. Maybe there's a friend that is helping you. For some of you, it could be drinking. It doesn't have to be. Um, but anyway, I do feel you are in a very strong position, and I feel like you have a um, it's a time of growth for you. For some of you, this is different. You may have a new beginning with somebody that is very very passionate, and this could be somebody of the same sex. It could be Leo, Aries. Sagittarius. I do believe that uh, you do have a new beginning here. This is somebody that is very, very determined, very confident. Um, this is a visionary that is uh, very knowledgeable at whatever they do. This is somebody that holds their head up high and doesn't doesn't pout. You know, this person finds a way to get themselves out of negative situations. So I, I do believe there is somebody around you that probably um, maybe you've ignored this person's advice in the past or you've ignored giving them a chance. Maybe you need to give them a chance this week. Um, yeah, anyhow.
you got a friendly person around you that may see something unfortunate that you have been they may see something that you have not been given what you deserve you know what i mean or that you've been treated unfairly or you've been taken advantage of this person wants to help you and that is a message that you need to hear let them help you Whoever this person is, they have a lot of energy. This person is very energetic. They're friendly. They're optimistic, okay? I feel like this person um, is not going to betray you, put it that way. I don't think this person is going to betray you. We have the Emperor reversed. So the Emperor reversed is lack of control. It's out of control. So I'm not sure what the hell is going on. I mean, the emperor reverse. I'm not sure if it's a husband or a father or a business owner that has abused their power. Maybe you got somebody around you that doesn't like you. I do believe that that is the case. I mean, there is somebody that doesn't like you, but I think that you need to hold your head up high. Okay, hold your head up high. Do not let this person bring you down. This person may be a tyrant. Okay, they may be a tyrant. They may do things illegally. They don't care who they hurt. This could be a fraud, a con. I mean, this, this is a con man. It is. I feel like you have a con man here that doesn't want responsibility or doesn't doesn't like you. There could, you definitely could have somebody. It could be a boss or somebody that is in a position of authority that isn't very experienced that has some sort of vendetta against you. You know, I think that you need to be really strong this week. Okay, be willing to accept things as they are. And I feel like you're going to be. I see acceptance here in both these cards. Accepting things. It's like, you know what? It is what it is. I don't care if you like me or not. You know, you, you have support from somebody else. Anyhow, I, I do believe that you're dealing with somebody that is corrupt. This is a corrupt leader. Okay, this is somebody that doesn't want to give you what you deserve. They don't either. They don't want to pay you what you deserve, or, they, or something like that. Sorry about that. But just take a little minute. So anyway. I do believe that, you know, there's some sort of corruption here. You're dealing with a corrupt leader, okay? Uh, this person does not have your back, and they this is the, an obstacle. They have put obstacles in the way of your happiness, and I feel like this week you're going to be finding your inner strength to overcome this person, you know, what they've done to abuse their power, whatever it is. Now, this person may... may you know, for some of you, this could be unemployment or taking away a job or something like that. It could be a loss of a job or a loss of money or, you know, a pay cut or something like that. Whoever you are dealing with, this person um, feels as though they are entitled. They're on the wrong side of the law. Uh, this is somebody that um, is very, very controlling, doesn't care who they hurt. You know, they're all about society and looking good. This person doesn't have a lot of life experience. Other people may think that they do, but they don't. This is somebody that's not very experienced with life. And so anyway, I also, I, I feel as though you're going to have to be strong because I feel like um, there's probably going to be a loss because of this person. Okay, whoever this person is, this is a loss. Okay. It is some sort of loss, whether it's a financial loss or it could have something to do with inheritance. It could be a father, could be a husband, could be a boss, whatever. I feel like there's a financial loss here that could cause you some sort of heartache, right? Because the King of Cups reverse is heartache. You hold your head up high. Be proud of yourself. Okay, be really, really, really proud of yourself. You have come a long way. You have. You have. I, I see beauty here. I see strength. I see courage. I see confidence. I see determination. I see vibrating on a high level, a very high level. But I think that there is somebody around you or against you that doesn't have good intentions. This person does not act with their heart. Okay, they don't follow their heart. They act with their 
Um, well, they have an ego. This person has an ego. They're a very controlling, narcissistic, tyrant, whatever. They're not very, they're naive. This person is very naive, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Um, hmm. Greedy. You're dealing with a very greedy individual here that isn't giving you what you need. Two cups reverse. I feel like there's going to be a separation with this person. This isn't, this is not compatible. You're going to be moving away from somebody that does not have your back. Okay, there's going to be a separation with that two of cups reversed. This is the end of a partnership. There's no union here. There's no compatibility. This is fighting. This is, you could be dealing with a bully when you get the two of cups reversed. There's disharmony. This, this is disrespect. You have somebody around you that does, that can't work with you because they're so controlling. They're so egotistical. This person is an absolute fraud. Okay. I do believe that you're going to, you're going to, this is clarity. You're going to receive some sort of clarity or news in regards to this person. Uh, this person could be losing something. Okay. They could be losing something as well. So, and maybe you have to let them go. Maybe you have to let this person go because there's no partnership with this person. So if you have been partnering up with somebody, you know, thinking that they have your back, you may realize this week that they don't have your back. Somebody could be talking behind your back. Maybe you hear it. Um, and you may need to walk away. You may need to walk away. You, you may be like, oh my, you may be, you're sitting there and you're behind something. They don't see you and you hear them talking about you. So that could certainly happen this week. Um, anyway, anyway, two of cups reverse. That is, you know, ending a partnership of some sort. I feel like there's also dominance here with the two of cups reversed and the six of pentacles re reversed. And the emperor, okay? Did they say two of pentacles? I'm going to say two of cups. Anyway, there's some sort of dominance here. We got somebody here that wants to dominate. And I feel like you're, you're in a really strong position. And that's where there's a power struggle. This person, you know, they get, they, they may uh, use emotional blackmail with the king of cups reverse to manipulate you. And you're not really manipulatable in that way. It's like, you, you're not there. You, 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 and that may really piss them off that you, they can't manipulate you that way. Okay. So I feel like, you know, you, you, you may get into an argument with somebody that you've been partnering up with, maybe working with, could be even be a boss. Okay, it could be a boss, husband, father, whatever, and it could lead to a separation. It could just be an argument, though. I do, but two of cups reverse is typically a separation of some sort, a detachment, right? Um, you know, there's some sort of breakup here. So yeah, I do believe there's breaking up from somebody that, you know, has abused your generosity, right? They've abused your generosity. They've taken your kindness for weakness and I feel like this week you're gonna have to be strong and accept that you know this person is not very kind they're not very giving they're not very gentle and I feel like you're gonna be turning your back on this person and I think you may be connecting with somebody new and that is what I got good luck